nanohub.org. Online simulation and more for nanotechnology. Welcome to Getting Started with NanoHub. I'm Tanya, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up your NanoHub dashboard modules. I'll show you how to access your NanoHub dashboard and then go over adding and removing modules, resizing and rearranging them, and how to access module settings. My selections are the modules that are most useful for running and managing NanoHub apps, publishing resources, and communicating with NanoHub. Let's go to NanoHub and get started. If NanoHub's main page looks like this, click on Logged In to go directly to your NanoHub dashboard. This area on the right is where you will install modules. Let's go back to the NanoHub main page and zoom in a level. If you have a smaller screen, you may have a hamburger menu. In that case, click on Menu and then either click on your name or on the dashboard link. And again, that will take you to your NanoHub dashboard. Right now, there is one module for my messages installed. We are going to install four additional modules. Click on the Add Modules button, and then select My Sessions. Click the button to install this module. Again, click Add Modules. And this time, click My Tools and install that module. We're going to add two more modules. So click Add Modules, click on My Tickets, and install that module. And finally, click Add Modules and select Uploads in Progress and install that module. So now we have five modules installed in my dashboard. It turns out that my messages also appear in the left side menu. So I don't need a module in order to get to my messages. To save space, I will delete this module from my dashboard. Click Remove, and the module is gone. Now I have four modules installed. I'm going to resize these modules to make them easier to read. Grab the lower right corner of a module and drag it out to the side to widen it. This usually works better if you use the modules on the left. And if it's not on the left, move it over and then resize. And I think I have one hidden module here and I'm going to resize this one. So now I've resized all four of the modules. Now my sessions is at the bottom and it's a very useful module to have a little bit closer to the top. So I'm just dragging this module up and I would like to have it in the second place. So now I have resized and rearranged my modules. Let's take a quick look at these modules. In My Tools, there are three tabs for Recent Tools, Favorites, and All Tools. There's a search bar in All Tools that's very handy. So I'm going to add, I'm going to look for Jupyter Notebooks or Jupyter Notebook, and then click on the heart, which will add that to My Tool Favorites. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to look for Abacus and then click on the heart and check my favorites. And now both Abacus and Jupyter Notebook are in my tool favorites. Looking at the next module, which is my sessions, there's a scroll bar on the side and you can see that I have a couple tool sessions already running. I can resize this to be a little bit taller in order to see more of the sessions without having to scroll. So now I can see a Nano Mechanics Explorer session, and I can open and close this area, and an Abacus session. There's also a module settings gear where I can change some of the settings for this. 
So I don't need to see the session screenshots. I can turn that off. I do want storage, quick launch, and I can say no to confirm terminate to make the termination process a little faster and then save these settings. So now I no longer have a screenshot of these modules, but that's okay. It takes up a little bit less space this way. I'm going to click the open button to go back to the session where I can see uh, the simulation tool I was working with. I'm going to navigate back. And then if I want to terminate the session, I can just click the button and the session has been terminated. Now I only have one session remaining. Let's look at the remaining modules. My tickets is very handy because it shows you all of the tickets that you have submitted or that are associated with you. And if you wanna get to a ticket and find out the current status, you'll just click on the link to the ticket and then you can read um, the whole history of that ticket. Very handy. Additionally, if you run into a new problem, click on the button to file a new ticket. And then this will bring you to the page where you can add a description of the ticket and upload attachments such as screenshots which show the error message or the problem that you're encountering. The final module is Uploads in Progress. So if you are in the process of publishing NanoHub resources, including apps or tools, they will all be listed here. I'm going to resize this to make it a little bit easier to read. And in this module, you can see the name of your app and its status. Clicking on the name of the app, will bring you to the tool status page directly. Very, very handy feature. Additionally, if you have an idea for a new app or other resource to publish, click the button to start a new contribution and you are directly in the page where you can select whether to start a new tool publication or some other type of NanoHub resource. So to review, we've just gone over how to get to your NanoHub dashboard, how to add, remove, resize, and rearrange modules, and what some of the module settings are. Thanks for joining me. Now it's time for you to try out NanoHub.